for watching more interesting and informative videos, please subscribe Aquafish Hobbyist. Friends today's topic about dropsy disease, their causes, treatment methods and how to prevent dropsy. When cultivating an aquarium, you are likely to run into a variety of freshwater aquarium fish diseases and conditions including dropsy. Learn how to treat and prevent these diseases so you can better protect your fish. In most cases, dropsy is the result of a bacterial infection caused by bacteria Aeromonas. Aeromonas is a bacteria that is commonly found in most fish tanks. Poor water quality, overcrowding, and stress can make your fish more susceptible to this condition. If your fish is affected, he may appear bloated and stop eating. If you suspect that one or more of your aquarium fish are suffering from dropsy, follow these steps to treat the condition. Isolate the sick fish in a hospital tank to make water changes easier. The temperature of the hospital tank should be as close to that of the original tank as possible. Create a salt bath by adding no more than 2.5 teaspoons of Epsom salt for every 10 gallons of water in the hospital tank. Feed your fish antibacterial fish food. Continue to feed your fish antibiotic fish food and monitor their progress for 7 to 10 days. If no improvement is seen after several days of treatment, treat the aquarium water with Myrosin 2. This medication is effective against bacterial infections and is absorbed through the skin of fish. If, after 10 days of treatment, your fish shows no signs of improvement or if it becomes worse, it may be that the cause of dropsy is not bacterial. If the antibiotics do not work and the salt bath is ineffective, there may be nothing else you can do for your fish. So how to prevent dropsy? As is true of most tropical fish diseases, the best way to prevent dropsy is to maintain good water quality in your tank by staying on top of routine maintenance tasks. Perform routine weekly water changes in your fish tank. Changing out between 10% and 20% of your aquarium's water volume. You should also perform a larger water change of 25% the tank volume once a month. It is also important to give your fish enough space in the aquarium, overcrowding can result in stress and illness. Avoid feeding your fish too much as well because uneaten fish food that sinks to the bottom of the tank will decompose and it may negatively affect water quality in the tank.